At this point in time, I'm pretty sure we're all well aware of the many different types of HDMI converters that exist on the market. Uh, here in front of me we have two different types that are pretty common in portableizing communities such as the Bitbuilt community. The one on the left here has a VGA and audio jack connector for input and then an HDMI connector for output and a USB connector for power. Uh, this is a fairly large board. It has a lot of extra components that may not actually be necessary in a lot of applications. Uh, and it's a fairly uh, thick and has a lot of really tall components. On the right, we have a fairly common board as well. This is the uh, type of PCB that is typically inside of the Wii to HDMI adapters that you find readily available on Amazon and eBay uh, that have the HD or the um, Wii connector on the left for audio and video input and then um, or I'm sorry just video input and then a um, audio jack for audio input and an HDMI output connector. These are fairly small and versatile, however, they are really cheaply made and they have a lot of issues with video quality uh, and discoloration. The most common types of uh, video quality issues are a very wavy video that can um, be seen really easily with the naked eye, however, when it's uploaded on YouTube, it's, it's pretty difficult to see unless you're looking at it in really high resolution, so I recommend you do that now. Uh, we went ahead and developed a higher quality version of these product uh, products that uh, re requires a lot less space and a lot less power. So what you see here is what we're calling the analog to HDMI converter. Uh, we offer two formats. One is a VGA to HDMI and the other is a component to HDMI converter. Uh, there is the same exact design, however, this SOG uh, capacitor is installed for the component option and is uninstalled for the VGA option. Uh, on the left we have solder holes for your audio channels, your right and left audio channels, and then we have your H-Sync and V-Sync video um, synchronization channels for your VGA, and then we have RGB or Y, PB, and PR for your VGA or component signal. And then we also have the 5 volt input to provide power to this board. And then on the right hand side we have an HDMI connector for video output. Now a big benefit to this design is just how small it is. So in this case this board is approximately 34 millimeters by 25 millimeters and the most common Wii 2 HDMI adapter boards such as the one uh, that I'm showing here tends to be around 51 millimeters by 31 millimeters. Uh, so we've essentially reduced the size of this board on the left uh, by about 50% with our um, version here. Another big benefit of our version is that there is no discoloration in the video conversion because we're using extremely high-end uh, analog front-end circuitry for this uh, design so that we ensure the highest quality video conversion from input to output. Uh, and then on top of that, this design does not introduce any of the typical wavy video noise that may be seen in a lot of the Wii to HDMI adapters that exist on the market. So with this product, you can ensure that you're going to be receiving the highest quality po product that's possible. On top of that, this product is extremely light. Total weight is approximately 4 grams, and we were able to achieve that by reducing the total PCB thickness to a staggering... 0.6 millimeters as opposed to the standard 1.6 millimeters that are used on a lot of these boards today. So if you're looking to introduce a VGA or component conversion to HDMI in your next portable project, consider picking up one of these on an arm, our online store today. You can go to electron-shepherd.com slash store uh, to pick some of these up for your next project. Feel free to let us know in the comment section below if you have any questions or uh, comments about this, and we'll be more than happy to get back to you. Thank you.